Howdy, I'm Sadie Mae, and this week I'm gonna show you how I transform this boring space into a functional and awesome one. Since I didn't have a lot of time or money for this makeover, I decided an Ikea hack was in order. But first, I needed to prep the wall to get rid of the texture. I did this by securing 1 8 inch hardboard to the wall using liquid nails and brad nails. This is gonna make the board and batten that I plan on putting here look better and give the wall a smooth appearance. Once the hardboard was installed, I added trim and the battens to cover up any of the seams. I then assembled three IKEA IVAR cabinets following their instructions but adding some wood glue for additional strength. The cabinets sit on top of my baseboards for a floating look and got secured to the studs and each other. I then gave the wall a couple of coats of paint and at this point it was looking pretty good but it can be better. I wanted more texture, so I found some pine screen molding at Home Depot and cut it to size and started attaching it. This screen molding is three quarters of an inch wide and a quarter inch thick and has two rounded corners. I think it's gonna give this boring cabinet so much character and personality. I started with the top and installing them with wood glue and pin nails. Going across the top hides the seams where the cabinets meet. I also mitered the corners of the edges so it gives a waterfall look going down the sides. The pin nail are left really tiny holes but I ended up wanting to wood fill them and sand them down because I'm going to be staining this piece. Then it was on to the doors. This isn't a difficult process, but it's very repetitive and tedious. The one thing I don't like about the IKEA cabinets is the gap between the doors. So once I was done putting all the slats on, I ripped and planed down some scrap pine to fill that gap and secured it the same way with wood glue and brad nails. I also had a really cute helper for this part. Now it was time for finish. I made so many samples but finally decided to go with a paint wash finish to give this piece a consistent tone and to not be too overpowering next to my Saltillo tile floors. For the paint wash, I mixed some acrylic paints to a color I liked and then I diluted it roughly by 50% and then I applied it to the pieces being sure to wipe off any excess. Once every little nook and cranny was stained, then I did add a couple of clear coats of polyurethane. If you want more details on this paint wash finish technique for pine or the IKEA hack, I have two blog posts on my website with full details and I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you. 
Now let's put this piece back together. First was adding the cabinet doors back on. The IKEA cabinets do come with these hinges and they are adjustable to make sure that your doors sit flat and flush. Now for installing the poles. I really like these black ones that I picked out installed in a horizontal position against all the vertical slats. They'll work great, you know, when I use this as a bar cabinet to hang the towels, but overall it just gives a clean modern look. All right, now my favorite part, pulling the tape off. And in case you forgot, this is where we started. and the after. I love my new floating bar console. And if you do too, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel for more awesome builds. And remember, build loud, build wild, and have an awesome day.